In this example, we are going to show the difference between a 75 watt halogen illuminator and a 150 watt metal halide illuminator and explain the differences in the brightness of the side glow cable. Now, if you first take a look at over here, you have the 75 watt halogen illuminator. You'll notice that the side glow cable lights for the first few inches, but then basically it really starts falling off light wise. And after about two to three feet, there'll be no light in the cable at all. So, 75 watt halogen illuminators just do not have enough lumens to power side glow cable. Now, the 150 watt metal halide illuminator does have more than enough lumens. You can see here that the cable lights nice and evenly. This cable will light like this in either 50 foot in one direction where the cable just stops and ends or one 100 foot loops it will light like this. So whenever you're doing a side glow application you need at least a 150 watt metal halide unit and if you would like this cable twice as bright then you would step up to the 250 watt metal halide unit. You'll notice that this one right here is a 75 watt halogen and glow cable and the one on this side is the 150 watt metal halide and glow cable. In most applications the 75 watt halogen and glow works out perfect and it is more than enough light for the average person. The 75 watt halogen illuminators cost about $400 less than the 150 metal halide units do. So in most cases, people do opt to go with the 75 watt halogen. Now here we're just going to watch the color wheel slowly spin around in the illuminator and how the side glow transitions colors. In this particular illuminator we do have eight colors and again it is a 150 watt metal halide unit. You'll notice that the side glow cable in the complete dark almost glows like neon. Fiber optic side glow cable can be used as an alternative to neon, but we suggest that you only use it in places that are extremely dark.